recipes. So um, if you write fast, get, <laughs> get a notebook out, get a paper and pen out. If you wanna take screenshots, be prepared to do that when a recipe pops up, but this is gonna be a great class. And without further ado, we are gonna get started. We do watch that chat box. So like I said, if you are wanting to chit chat with us as we're teaching through, we check out that chat box. So you can ask your questions and stuff like that there. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna get going. My name is Holly Simon and um, when I say I use essential oils every single day, I mean it. They are our first line of defense. They're the first things we reach for. We use them for everything from a scratch, a scar, a bug bite to a headache, or just in general, you know, taking care of our hormones, which we'll get into here in a minute. I use something every day called Endoflex oil. You're going to learn all about it. Um, so it's surprising to people because we teach a lot about, um, for example, my daughter's story, which was chronic pneumonia and oils for wellness. So our our community generally knows that oils are awesome for wellness, right? And they're wonderful for your skin. Guys, they can totally change your skin, make your skin glow. All those good things are so good for you. You can do all the fun things like make um, body spray and room spray and all of those things. But when we talk about oils after dark and we tell people, guys, they're really, really good for the bedroom, that is where people are like, what, what are you talking about? So hopefully after tonight, you're like, okay, this makes sense. And listen, if you're here tonight and you are, you know, in your twenties and your period's out of control, or maybe you're like all touched out and the husband's touching you and the baby's touching you. And you're on that libido seesaw where your husband's, you know, he's this way and you're up here and you're like, stop. Um, we've got you covered. If you're post menopause and you're like, listen, I just, I'm having all, maybe I'm dealing with dryness or I have all these hot flashes or whatever's going on. We got you covered as well. Or for me, I am, I'm in my mid 30s. I'm 35 years old. And there that is when your progesterone starts going down and all sorts of things are starting to really, you're starting to kind of come over that hill. And um, it's really important to start focusing on this area and be proactive in it. So I'm so excited. This is a fun class, um, but we're going to start off with, I'm going to go ahead and switch slides here. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how do you actually use oils as aphrodisiacs? Okay. And um, there's main, basically with oils, there's always three ways to use them, okay? And the first way we're going to talk about here is topical. So as you can see on the screen, um, there is topical use of oils is one of the main ways, the most uh, effective ways you can use them. So if I'm talking about using them for the bedroom or increasing libido or dealing with anything, like even if it's... Um, you know, you've got dryness or you've got a yeast infection or anything like that, which that's really not what we're talking about tonight. That's more on the wellness side. You can absolutely make an inner thigh potion. And as you can see on your screen, here's the place to use them. It tells you exactly how to use them. You can use them, apply from the inner mid thigh, the leg crease. You can also put them two inches below your navel. Don't worry about, well, what am I putting there or any of those things. That's not what we're learning yet. We're going to get into all of that for what you're looking for and what you need to learn, whether it's hormones or bedroom or any of those things, libido, but basically inner thigh to inner crease, two inches below your navel is where you're going to use a lot of these oceans or lotions um, and inner thigh potions that we're going to teach you tonight. We even got my favorite recipe of all time is called love potion number nine. Okay. So another place that you want to use oils, if we're talking about what Hannah is getting ready to teach you is um, if you're working on like your uh, hormone balancing or anything like that is you want to use them on your inner wrist. Okay. Right up here and right here, just rub them together in your inner wrist. If you're working on hormonal balance um, or across your thyroid right here, the butterfly gland on the front of your neck. And of course, you can also use them on the bottom of your feet. That's standard for using oils for anything, okay? And then, of course, there are oils you can apply directly onto your South Pole. Now, listen, girls, in our class tonight, I'm probably going to be the most spicy of all of us. So I have no problems talking about sex or the bedroom, libido. If you came to this class and you don't want to talk about it, you are in the wrong class. But I promise you, we're going to keep it classy. I have no problems. And I think people need this information. So um, there are hot oils that you don't want to use on your South Pole. But the oils we're going to talk about tonight, you can some of them you can apply directly directly okay and they're gonna do magic in the bedroom for you and for your husband because if you're happy 
he's happy, right? So, okay, so we're also gonna talk a little bit, there are recipes that actually you can ingest. There's even edible body butters that you can make. Did you know that if you go to Walmart and you get a lubricant or you get a body butter, a lot of those are filled with things that first of all, should never go on our skin ever. They're filled with toxins, they're filled with endocrine disruptors, synthetic fragrances, bad, bad stuff. Um, but the things we're going to talk about tonight are absolutely completely natural and you can do super fun things with them, like make lubricants and even make edible body butter, things like those. So even recipes like the little blue pill, nature's little blue pill that a man is going to talk about here in a bit, you can actually ingest as a capsule. And um, so oils are absolutely edible. That is the third main way to use them. And you never want, we never recommend ingesting any essential oils outside of Young Living's. Um, if you go to Target or Walmart and you look at those oils, those are not, um, they will say don't ingest because those are what we call either synthetic mixed or they are artificial, meaning they are not for ingestion. They're basically the same thing as fragrance or perfume. They're not actually essential oils as we know them to be, okay? So, and then the third main way to use oils is up in the air by inhaling them. You guys, if you want to write something down, write down this combo. It is the diffuser combo you want to set the mood, set the tone, elang elang and orange, okay? And we'll get into those later on, but listen, aromatically essential oils, this is the roots of aromatherapy. They profoundly affect your mood. 100%. So if you're struggling in this area, we have really good news for you. They actually, there are essential oils that actually act like pheromones, meaning to your brain, through your sense of smell, they smell like hormones to your brain. I don't know how, so that's why they're called pheromones. So for example, Elang Elang, a man, he's triggered by like the estrogen smell or estrogen-like pheromone of jasmine and Elang Elang. I'm not kidding when I say, <laughs> if I wear Elang Elang and orange together on my skin, my husband is like following me around with his nose and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So absolutely a woman's is act activated when she smells pheromones that are what her brain likens to testosterone, things like Idaho blue spruce, another blend called Shutron. We'll get into all of that later, but this is so cool because you can absolutely use aphrodisiac oils and use the power of pheromones to set the mood and just help you in general, right? Setting the mood is a big part for a woman. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pass this off. And the first big chunk that we're going to hit tonight after this portion of how to use them is hormones, because if your hormones ain't right, nothing else is going to be right. So I'm going to pass that off to Hannah Shanks. Hi guys. So excited to be here tonight. Um, this is the first time I've ever taught this class online. So super fun. Um, so let's chat about hormones for a few minutes, because just like Holly said, if your hormones are not happy and in a healthy place, then this whole like libido aspect and it's just a lot of other stuff is going to feel off. Like hormones affect so much and they're, they're really like a signaling um, system in our body for like almost every function that we have in our body. And especially for women, um, hormones are a really delicate balance as we're going to see. So we tend to think of hormones as like a bad thing or like just something that makes me like moody or whatever. I, it was funny. I had dinner with a couple of friends the other night and I was like talking about how we were going to have a hormone class. And he like got this weird look on his face. Like what? That's like so awkward for you to say that. And I was like, oh, is it awkward? <laughs> I talk about hormones all the time. So, okay, cool. So we think of them as being this like weird, awkward thing that like makes teenagers super like, you know, wild and then makes women moody. Right. And like, we only think of them in negative terms, but really like hormones are wonderful and we would not survive without them. Okay. Um, but they have to be in, in a proper balance for us to feel our best and to function at our best. So I want you to kind of think of um, hormones in like three different ways, because there are a lot of different types of hormones. And so I want you to just write this down really quickly, human hormones. So your natural hormones, those are great. Those are the best, right? Your body making the right amounts of hormones at the right times for the right organs and systems. That's the best. Okay. Plant hormones. God gave plants the ability to have hormonal types of effects for themselves and for our bodies. So like fruits, vegetables, um, nuts and seeds and, and plants and herbs and oils have hormonal effects, hormonal kind of activities. Those are good because they support the body's natural hormone production. All right. 
synthetic hormones are bad. They're nasty because they were created in a lab. They force an effect on our bodies and synthetic hormones are things like we often, it's just normalized, but like things like synthetic birth control that we tell just teenage girls when they start like having their period, oh, you should probably be on birth control. It's going to make it so much easier for you. Um, and you know, women of all ages get put on birth control and then synthetic hormones as they approach transition in life, those wreak havoc on your body and on your system. So synthetic hormones, we want to avoid at all costs. All right. So when our hormone levels are not healthy, we tend to feel bad. We tend to not just feel like ourselves. Um, and women have our primary hormones are estrogen, progesterone, and we have a lot of estradiols, which are like derivatives of um, estrogen. Funny when I Googled estradiols to like really dig into that, it showed me like all the names of the synthetic estradiols that are prescribed instead of like any information about the human form. And I was like, this is a problem. This is why we are where we're at um, with hormone struggles. Men have higher levels of testosterone and lower levels of estrogen. So both men and women have all four of those hormones, but women have way higher estrogen, progesterone, and much lower testosterone. Okay. So studies have shown when we have high levels of our natural hormones in our body. So there's plenty of it flow in and our body has enough of it to pull from, to do different functions. There tends to be less disease. We have less PMS issues. We're not as emotional. Our menstrual cycles are not terrible. We don't have like migraines and we feel terrible. Like I think a lot of us can relate to those types of struggles. Um, and we have less libido struggles when our hormones are naturally high. Okay. But chemical-based hormone supplements, like birth control pills and uh, synthetic hormones that your doctor might tell you, oh, you just need to like, we'll just take, give you this pill of the synthetic hormone. It's going to force you to have, you know, X, Y, Z happen. Well, those are actually linked to higher rates of disease. So they might help with a symptom or a, an issue, but they're also causing a whole cascade of other problems and symptoms. Okay. So when we have, when women have low levels of hormones, but they support their bodies, natural ability to make hormones, but with things like oils and plant phytoestrogens, we're supported and we give our body plenty of things to use to make the, hor the hormones we need without the risk level, right? So that's where we, that's the sweet spot where we want to support our bodies with as natural as possible and avoid the synthetics, okay? I'm also going to talk about endocrine disruptors for just a second because this is a really, really important part of hormone balance, especially in America. We are like convenience, everything store-bought, everything We're, we've gotten really far away from like, you know, homesteading and everything is very natural. And we're just, we've just sacrificed the convenience of having synthetic everything in our homes and endocrine disruptors are, are chemicals that are found in our body care products and our makeup and our cleaners and our candles and our like everything right there. They can be found in every household product that you just like mindlessly pull off the shelf at Walmart and bring into your home to make it clean or to clean yourself. There are chemicals like parabens and um, phthalates and all kinds of things, things that you can't pronounce, things that are completely synthetic. And what those endocrine disruptors do, we kind of throw that term around like, oh, it's an endocrine disruptor, but what does that actually mean? So an endocrine disruptor is actually a chemical compound that interferes when it enters your body, it interferes with your body's natural ability to, pr to produce hormones in a balanced way. So it interferes with their production. It can cause overproduction or underproduction. Um, it can block the receptors in our cells, so it can interfere with whatever function our hormones are trying to do. Endocrine receptors can like block those receptor sites, so then the body's like, well, I can't receive it, so I can't do that. Um, so it's really dangerous, and it's really important to look at getting rid of toxic chemicals in our household products, in your personal care products. Women poison themselves like over 500 times a day before breakfast because of how much junk we put in our systems with all of our makeup and our shower stuff and our lotions and our body splashes and all the things we use to make ourselves feel beautiful. They're actually wreaking havoc on our hormones. They're disrupting the body's natural ability to balance and to, and to have this like natural production that comes along in a cycle. Okay. So I'm going to help you understand your cycle. This is what you can see on the screen is kind of what your cycle looks like when it is charted. And this is so key to understanding. Oh my gosh. This is the key to like harnessing your superwoman inside, right? Because when you understand this, you can work with your body and you can support it the right ways with natural things like oils and, and supplements. And even the way that you eat, you can um, absolutely eat healthy to help support your cycle and being really healthy. So you'll see the flow of estrogen. Estrogen is the red line. Progesterone is the blue line on this chart. Um, the flow of estrogen and progesterone, they kind of like uh, are like a roller coaster, but they go in different directions, right? Like there's an interchange have them throughout your cycle. So in a normal cycle, your cycle actually starts day one is the day you start your period. That's day one of your cycle. And usually 28 to 30 days uh, before you start it all over again. 
So in a, in, on day one, the first day of your period, both estrogen and progesterone are really low, as you can see. Okay. So that goes through about a week ish. And then at around day 14 or 15 is when you ovulate. So you can see right before you ovulate your estrogen soars, right? Your estrogen soars. So ovulation takes place, estrogen soars. It's ripening that egg. It's making you feel super flirty and like ready and feminine. And you're feeling awesome right before ovulation, right? And if you take notice of how you feel in a month and you track this, you'll be like, oh my gosh, this is absolutely me. Um, okay. So then, and you'll notice progesterone is kind of low right after ovulation estrogen plummets and progesterone soars, right? And progesterone stays high because here's what progesterone is trying to do. It's trying to like be there for that egg in case it was fertilized. So in case you get pregnant and you have a fertilized egg, progesterone's like, I am here for you. I am super high. We're going to sustain this egg if it needs to be here. Um, and so that's what it's doing. So, and then they both plummet before you start day one again. And that's when a lot of the like, oh my gosh, I'm like miserable. And I it like I hate my life and I like can't function. That's what that feeling because those hormones are plummeting. So you can kind of see as you look at this and you can see like, oh, my symptoms, I kind of am feeling certain ways around here. That makes sense. And here's where you can support those things. And you can kind of see like, oh, well, then I would need to support progesterone and estrogen and being a little higher so that my period and the week leading up to it is not completely awful. Right. Okay. So, um, the sweet sisters, we're going to talk about the two main hormones and why there are spikes in hormones at different times. Cause that seems kind of confusing, right? Like why would we have, why would they, why would they be like roller coasters at different places? So hormones are like a play. Okay. I want you to help, help you think of this in a way that makes sense. Hormones are like a play. So there's different actors. There's different scenes, right? Different seasons. And then there's a final act, which is menopause, right? It's like very dramatic usually. Okay. So the final act menopause. Okay. So estrogen and progesterone, they're the two main players and they're like sisters. Okay. So estrogen is like the flirty sister. She's super feminine. She helps us feel good. Um, the estrogen is responsible for like the womanly look and feel of our bodies. Um, that's from, that's like from estrogen. Okay. So if you're like very curvy and you have like a very womanly figure, you are naturally higher in estrogen. That's just how your body functions. Um, it makes us feel super attractive. It makes us like flirty and irresistible to our partners. Okay. Estrogen also helps to ripen an egg for ovulation. So that's the reason like estrogen makes you irresistible so that you can get pregnant. Honestly, um, you feel more flirty. You feel prettier during times when your estrogen is higher and it upswings. Like just, we saw on that chart, it upswings at ovulation, which is conveniently ovulation is when you can get pregnant in your cycle, right? So estrogen is like helping you get pregnant. So phytoestrogens are like plant estrogens that are found in clary sage. Um, and they're similar to mammal estrogens or like our own estrogen and they're bioavailable for us to use in the human body. So clary sage increases estrogen in the body. That's what it does. Write that down. That's really helpful to know. Okay. Progesterone. She is the nurturing sister. Okay. So she's not as pretty, not as flirty, but she's what causes the nurturing feelings, the nesting, the staying home, all those things like super cozy. Progesterone is like, we want to keep this baby so safe and get nice and plump and like just enjoy being pregnant. Okay. That's what progesterone does. So if progesterone is preparing for the future, she's like the motherly, right? Estrogen's like, let's be wild. Progesterone is like, no, we need to keep this baby alive inside. So she is the, per the pregnancy hormone. Okay. Progesterone is necessary for implantation of the fertilized egg into the uterus. All right. So estrogen ripens the egg and progesterone is there to catch the egg and nurture it in pregnancy. So progesterone is actually what sustains your pregnancy and keeps the baby um, for the first 12 weeks until your body like starts making enough. So there's like this kind of like implantation time where you're like the placenta isn't fully evolved yet. And your body like um, has to keep progesterone super high in order to sustain that pregnancy. So they're going to go sky high when you're pregnant, right? because they're telling a healthy body, like we want to hold that lining. We're going to hold that egg, keep that, that baby fertilized and keep it here until the body like kicks in to start making enough progesterone to keep that going. Okay. It also regulates the menstrual cycle. Okay. So changing progesterone levels can contribute to abnormal periods, um, and menopausal symptoms. So if that's you, if you have abnormal periods, um, cycles, your cycles are off, you need some progesterone. You need some natural progesterone. Okay. It's also called a sex hormone because healthy levels of it boost libido. And so it's important to supplement progesterone when you have low libido. Okay. So here's a summary. Estrogen is trying to get you pregnant. 
progesterone is trying to keep you pregnant and testosterone is having all the fun, right? Okay. That's, that was Holly's told me to say that. So I'm going to blame that on her, but we need all of these hormones working together in harmony in that play in order to be like healthy and supportive at the right times. So here is, um, information about progestins plus. Okay. Progestins plus is a natural serum. It's an oil infused serum made with um, natural progesterone that comes from wild yam extract. Okay. So wild yam is like a, um, a form of progesterone in nature and it's bioavailable to our bodies. And so we can use this serum that has wild yam in it to help our bodies get progesterone without having to take a synthetic, which is really amazing. And our bodies love it, respond super well to it. Okay. So you can initiate a good mood <laughs> when you use your progestins plus serum, because it's going to have that effect on your, um, on your hormone balance. Okay. So you can put a, a drop on each forearm and rub it in. You can put it on your neck um, and rub it in. And then you can go to bed. I usually do it right before bed. It says, I think it says on the bottle, you can do it before bed. It makes some people sleepy. So other people don't have that effect at all. Okay. So this is a really cool thing because it was developed by a doctor named Dr. Purser. He has a Facebook page. He's really awesome, extremely knowledgeable. He worked with Young Living to develop this product because he specializes in hormone issues. And he was like seeing clients in his office and testing their levels, you know, kind of to see what was going on with them. And he was finding almost all of his women patients had low progesterone or zero progesterone in their body. <laughs> And he was like, well, no wonder, like you guys need some natural progesterone in your bodies because like, this is a, this is contributing to a tons of prob problems um, with your hormones. So women's issues, they can cause your head to be like pounding. If you have like menstrual migraines, which a lot of people have, or just hormonal migraines that happen at certain times, um, they can make you feel super bloated. They can cause terrible cramps, all kinds of things. Um, any kind of like menstrual problem can be um, attributed to low testosterone or low progesterone. So you need to supplement with that. Okay. Progesterone decreases over time with age and it tends to drop after childbirth with many women. When you ha have a baby, your progesterone like plummets to nearly zero for on purpose because other hormones have to kind of take, take its place for a while. And there's like a big transition for when that happens. But when it drops too low, our sex drive disappears. We feel super moody, you know, like all the things you think like, oh yeah, that was a struggle during my postpartum time. It's because you were super low in progesterone and it doesn't hurt to, to supplement with a little bit of natural to help you feel better. Okay. Um, and let's see what else. Okay. So using progestins plus, I recommend starting slow, kind of using it once a day and use like two to four drops on your forearms and on your neck. So like every other day you rotate the look, the application site and use like two to four drops at night before you go to bed, kind of see how you feel for a month or so. And then you can kind of, you can work up you can scale back down depending on what you need. Every person's body responds a little bit differently to this. And some people are like, oh my gosh, this is the most life-saving thing I have ever experienced. And then other people are like, you know, I, I feel great when I use it, but not every single day. Okay. So you'll just have to experiment with your body and talk to some people and kind of figure out for yourself what works best. Um, but you can especially use it right before your like the week leading up to your period to help you with that plummet and those symptoms that come through that. Okay. So here's a testimony. Um, somebody said, Essence Plus has literally changed my cycle. My cycle became so regular. You could set a clock by it. And my period is short. And along with dragon time is actually bearable. I don't actually want to kill anyone. I just want to say like, that's what a normal period is. You guys, that's what your body is supposed to do. Like that, what she just described. That's what a like normal, healthy cycle period is like. And so if yours is not like that, you need to work intentionally to get it to that place because that's like really the ideal. Obviously we don't live in an ideal world. And I know that there's all kinds of issues that happen in our bodies and everybody's body is different, but this is the ideal standard, right? Regular, short, bearable, uh, not painful. And, and, and you can just like, you can live with it. It's not meant to be this like huge dramatic event that ruins your life for two weeks out of every month. Okay. All right. So next we're going to talk about lady sclerol. Okay. <laughs> this slide cracks me up. Consider us yoga scorpions for your hormones. We'll get you balanced. Oh my goodness. I laugh every time I see these slides. Okay. So Lady Sclerol is a fan favorite for women, especially over 45 and definitely over 50. So it's helping you with that transition. And I want to tell you, and Brenda Wilson, we did an in-person class a couple of, uh, or actually last weekend, she talked about menopause and just the transition of life. She did a beautiful job at just describing that it's not a disease. 
and it's not like a huge problem. Like you're not diagnosed with menopause, right? Like it's not a disease that needs to be managed with medication or always have tons of interventions. It's just a transition in life and it can be supported with natural things and it's something to be embraced. And when you like work with your body and not just like be fearful and be like, this is a disease and it has to be managed. It has to be fixed. Like you can transition well with into menopause into the next season of life. It's that final act of the play with the hormones. And yes, things get a little out of balance, but it's something that can definitely be um, supported well. So ladies Clairol, it can, you can wear it like a perfume. It can help with hot flashes, temperature regulation, sweating, um, and with emotional stability. And it's, It'll help you feel more balanced and in tune with your partner. Does any, if you've used Ladies Clairol on a daily basis or a regular basis, will you put it in the comments what, you're, what you have noticed? Um, it contains geranium, which aids in hormonal balance, and clary sage, we know is good for estrogen. Um, that also aids with cramps, PMS, and agitation. It has a lang lang, we've already kind of talked about that, balancing the sexual energy. And then it has sage lavender, which has been shown to increase the body's estradiol levels, which equates to more regularity. And this is fantastic for transitions. So also there's a transition period right after you have a baby in postpartum. I found myself reaching just naturally for Lady Sclerol in postpartum because of that huge transition time. And also when I was weaning my children, I just reached for it naturally. The smell was very like appealing to me and I would just wear it as perfume during those times. And it helped so much with the transition in hormones of those seasons of my life. Okay. I have talked enough. I'm going to pass it to my friend, Amanda, and she's going to tell you about some more oils for balance. Yes, I am. <clears throat> I need some oils for my voice tonight. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but I'm going to share a couple of really great oils that we've used often in our home. I have three teenage daughters and this one, this next one is one of my very favorites. It's called Dragon Time and that's because we tend to use it when we're kind of feeling like a dragon. So it is a hormone balancing oil, obviously. It is designed to use during your red week, during like PMS time. You guys all know that you start feeling that like crabbiness, like get away from me, stop talking to me. When you feel those feelings, you want to grab yourself some dragon time. Um, I personally use my Progestance Plus all month long. And then when I start feeling that PMSing coming on, then I will add dragon time in. I like to rub it over my stomach, take a bath with it with some Epsom salts. Um, it really helps alleviate a lot of the PMS issues, especially pertaining to the emotions. So if you have young um, teenagers, it's totally safe for them. It's full of like clary sage, fennel. It's got some marjoram and lavender in it. So it also helps reduce cramps. This one is one that I don't live without in my home at all. It's excellent. The next one is sclerescence. So I've been learning a lot about sclerescence because I have not ever used it and I actually just started. So this oil loves all of your girly systems and it's ingestible. So many people will take it internally. Dr. Purser actually suggests using eight drops a day, either topically or internally. It helps support your estradiol levels. So you can choose how you want to take it. I have been taking it internally in a capsule. It's really great for when you're trying to conceive. If you've been struggling with that, this is one to use um, to help boost that. And then it also, this is just a fun fact, it's said to work better when your man applies it to you during your ovulation. So uh, maybe you got to get the boy involved for that one, okay? Low estradiol levels are very commonplace amongst women with female irregularity um, or unhealthy reproductive systems. So really, if you PCOS, endometriosis, sclerosis would be a really great one for you. I love this testimonial. It says, I have no ovaries. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I have no ovaries and have had amazing results with oils. I researched my specific issues, which was vaginal dryness, painful intercourse, intercourse, and 10 years post hysterectomy. My recipe is, and you guys go on and snapshot that. I'm not going to read that for you. That is a great testimony. And that's a really, really, um, it's just a recipe that we use often in our group, especially post hysterectomy. So I love that recipe. All right. Um, Sclerescence is also one that you really want to use post hysterectomy. I just wanted to throw that in there really quickly. And finally, this is my favorite oil, Endoflex. Endoflex is excellent for everyone. 
everyone, males, females, it does not matter. It supports your thyroid and your entire endocrine system. It is really just good for overall hormone support. This weekend at an event we had, we had a guy talk about how he drops it under his tongue every day and he feels everything wake up. And it was just such a great testimony. So the endocrine system is really responsible for telling your body what hormones to produce and when to produce them. So think of this as a precursor to your hormones. It helps your body know what hormones it needs to make. This is a very important oil. This one regulates your thyroid, your metabolism, your growth hormone, your development, tissue function, sexual function, reproductive function, sleep, and mood. So if you feel like any of those systems are not where you want it to be, then you want to use Endoflex oil. We are big fans of this in my group and everyone uses it. You can do it internally, you can do it topically, rub it right over your thyroid, or you can drop it under your tongue like our friend Jason does. Here's a great testimony about it. <clears throat> I bought Indoflex three months ago and holy wow, my period kept being four to six days late, but these last two months they have been regular and pain-free, which is huge. My energy is back again and it's an oil I'm going to buy again and again. That's really small writing and I'm over 40, so my eyes don't work that well anymore. So, all right, Miss Holly, are you ready? Okay, you guys, are you guys ready? We've been really good so far, okay? But we're heading into the last 30 minutes. This is where we get a little naughty, okay? A little natural and a little naughty. We've been good. Hannah's like, don't put me in that spot. She took the hormones. So here I am. And before we get into this, I wanna talk a little bit about something that's very, very important. We're gonna talk about the libido. We're gonna talk about the bedroom. That's straight where we're heading. So if you have a problem with that, just you know, turn your camera off. You can giggle to yourself. But here's where we're going. Women really, the anticipation and building uh, the emotional build and mental preparation side of things for women is very, very important. Men don't get this. They just don't. And you know what? I used to be offended by that, actually. I used to be like, why don't you get this? It's not just, like, to a man, it's like eating, right? Like, it's just a need. It's a physical need. Like, I go, I eat dinner, I go to the bedroom, I have my woman, right? No. <laughs> for us, if we don't have that mental buildup, that excitement, that preparation emotionally, for us, it can be, it, it, we, we can struggle, right? We can struggle with desire and all of those things. And it becomes more like, I'm tired. I have toddlers touching me all the time, or I'm in my sixties and I'm tired and please don't touch me. Right? So here's a little, I wanted to talk a little bit about this because oils ha are so great. Right. And, um, one of the things like that I talk about here is what makes you feel sexy, right? What makes you feel sexy? It could be something as simple as shaving your legs, ladies. I'm just going to tell you, we are mid-February here. A lot of y'all ain't shaving your legs, okay? It could be something like having a special, we have Mirage essential oil, uh, shave oil, where you use that or a special EO infused soup, soap that you use, putting on a face of makeup when you don't want to, those things, right? Even using an inner thigh potion. I'm going to give you my favorite recipe here in just a moment. But using an inner thigh potion all day, maybe several times during the day, and just preparing yourself, it really is important, especially for females. Pick out a diffuser blend, right? That's just for your time together. And that way, here's what your brain's going to do. If you only diffuse, for example, orange and a -ling, um, on times maybe when you plan to be together, not everyone plans, I understand that, but maybe you're like have a date night or something, or you're just trying to build romance, right? You guys maybe just need some intimate connection. A really good thing to do is have a blend that that is the only time you use it. Because what your brain is going to do is your brain is, it's the sense of smell. It's like a lock and key system. It's so powerful if you use it right. Your brain is going to take orange and a ling, -a -ling. Let's just say it's that one. That's the one I always use. And it's going to, when it smells that, right, if you're only using it for that, it's going to put your whole body in this really cascade of really good hormones to help you out. It's going to like, it's harnessing your body's power through aromatherapy to help you if you struggle in this area. Okay. So that is, um, we're going to skip the energy part. Endoflex that Amanda just talked about. There's another oil. Endoflex is one every woman should use, and it is going to help you with the sexual energy part of your life as well, because it's just a good overall, it cares for your endocrine system. So, okay, who's ready to get into actual libido stuff? 
Okay, am I here alone? I want to see chat comments because if you guys don't give me energy, I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna get too spicy. Okay, so if you want spicy, let's go. Yeah, Danielle's like, let's go. There we go. Give it to me. <laughs> okay, I'm going. I, see, you guys got. Okay, I feel like all my walls are down. I'm here. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the first one, and this oil is Ylang Ylang. And guys, if you don't know, if you the first time it's funny, the first time I smelled Ylang Ylang, I was like. Uh, I don't like it. Okay. If that's you, I promise you give it a chance. This is like, who has ever pretended to be asleep? Let's just be real. Have you ever pretended to be asleep? Is that you sister? <laughs> that was me. Okay. That was me. That was with, especially when my girls were, I mean, they're like 18, 20 months apart. I have three girls when they were five and under, I was, I was playing sleep game. I mean, I was fake snoring all the things. Okay. <laughs> because I had a strong sleep game. If that is you, this is a must have oil. This is a powerful aphrodisiac. It has been known for and used for thousands of years in Indonesia. Actually, the petals of the Alang Alang flower were actually thrown on marriage beds as a ritual always because that is what they just know that this this flower this petal this plant is very very powerful for this uh, area it literally increases libido in women so let's just to couple this this libido increasing oil with a hormonal balancing oil. So I want I want to simplify this for you you don't need every single oil we've talked about in the hormonal department pick one okay pick one and use a hormonal balancing oil every day. And then also, if you really struggle, use a libido boosting oil, okay? And a langolang -lang is one of them. You can use this every single day. Um, this oil can even lower your blood pressure, by the way, which is a, a wellness effect. But this is actually, men actually tend to respond as well. Remember that pheromone thing to this scent? And this is one of the oils that's in sensation oil, which we'll talk about, which is a blend. This is a single oil, meaning there's one oil in the bottle. It's not a blend, but this is a key, key oil for libido. And again, I've mentioned it several times. And if you haven't written it down, I absolutely love this oil with orange. And we'll talk about orange here in a bit. I'm going to look through my chat box and make sure I haven't missed anything. Ylang Ylang is a vibe for me. Yes, 100%. Okay. Okay. So I love using it in the bedroom. I love using it in my diffuser. Okay. So Valor Oil. So this one is, if you struggle with confidence in the bedroom, this is actually a very beloved starter kit oil. Okay. This is, it's called Valor for a reason, but some we want to recognize and we want to say, we do understand that women, sometimes this is an issue, you know, and you've, you've had past, um, you've had maybe a, an unhealthy relationship, things were said to you or whatever, you weren't loved well, right? You weren't prized as the treasure you are that God made you to be. So that can show up in even a healthy relationship. So if you struggle with the confidence portion, Valor is like the oil. If she could talk, she would say, don't worry, you're amazing. You're a babe. You're a boss. Get in that bed, right? That is what Valor is going to say to you. And it's going to be okay. Everything is better, right? And you, you're brave, all those things. This is huge. It's, it's a huge oil for uh, feelings of fearlessness in the bedroom. Use it all day long, okay? This blend is actually designed to eliminate and loosen emotional blocks in your brain, emotional blocks, okay? So if this this is a real thing, okay? And I was there in a portion of my marriage where I just had this emotional block in the bedroom. Just, it wasn't there for me. And so you can wear it over your heart. You can wear it over your wrist. Um, it's going to help you feel, again, use it liberally throughout the day to help, help relax your body, keep your stress levels down, okay? Yeah, Hannah said it also helps with snoring. So it helps in multiple ways in the bedroom. Yes, <laughs> that's absolutely true. So that is not necessarily a libido oil, but it is an important point we want to recognize for so many women, okay? Okay, so next one is Clary Sage. And Clary Sage is a girl's best friend, okay? This is one of the main oils in, for example, Dragon Time which is a blend for PMS. This is a phytoestrogen, okay? So again, when we think, if you listen to what Hannah taught you, right? Everything is tragic when your estrogen levels are low, everything. So you wanna feel flirty, 
You want to feel levy, right? You want to have that feeling you have right before ovulation. But when you don't have your natural estrogen skyrocketing, this is what you can use to help support this area. And this is why when you start really understanding the play that happens every month in your life, you, you will get the hang of when to, what oil to use when. And this is definitely um, a huge oil for every woman, no matter what age walk or what age you're in or season you're in, because even dryness down there is a sign of low estrogen, which is a problem for women who are more mature, right? So that this can actually uh, be used to increase your natural lubrication if that's a problem for you. And listen, if, if I'm just going to say, if you're more juicy, right, it's going to be more fun. I'm just going to say it, okay? You released me, here I am. And if you're dry, it's not going to be fun. Not for him, not for you, okay? So a drop of Clary Sage to your daily routine is going to help you be juicy, fun, and flirty, okay? And that's what she's here for. She's your girl's best friend, okay? Okay, so we're going to move on, and now we're going to talk about sensation. And guys, I talked about a -ling, ling This is the blend with the -ling, ling in it. If, if you don't have sensation, this is, if you want to write something down, this is I'm 18 hormones in a bottle. <laughs> that is what this is. I'm 18, hor again, hormones in a bottle, okay? This is an actual blend. Sensation is called sensation for a reason. You can actually use it directly on the Lady Garden. Um, direct contact, it is going to enhance everything for him and for you. Of course, this is also going to naturally stimulate your libido because it has the libido oil in it, elangalang. This is a blend that really... I mean, when Young Living created this, they created it for natural intimacy. That is why they made this. It is made to heighten the experience, okay? Underline it, highlight it, heighten the experience. So much so, and it's so good that they actually made a massage oil out of it, which, by the way, please, if you have synthetic lubricants from Walmart or Target, I need you to throw those in the trash can. We cannot be, if we're trying to get ourselves, if we're trying to, if you can get your hormones supported naturally, and then you're using fun libido spiking oils and oils and natural lubricants that are warming and cooling and all the things, and they're just plants. Guys, if you do that, you are going to be in such an amazing place in your relationship in your place with your partner, intimacy, connection, all of those things. But if you're still slipping in products on your skin that are toxic and messing with your hormones, because that's what anything you put on your skin is going to jack with your reproductive and your hormones, then you're throwing yourself off still. And we're trying to get away from that. But I'm telling you this massage, this sensation massage oil applied directly, use it liberally. It is amazing, okay? And it's it, they took the sensation oil and they made a massage oil out of it for, for that very reason, okay? So by the way, I didn't tell you this, but the combination of sensation, the oils in that were revered by Cleopatra, Queen Cleopatra for increasing love and desire as well, the whole emotional side of that. So that's actually like the roots of this blend that Young Living took it from. So, okay. You can use it in the diffuser. You can apply it directly to your lady bit parts, okay? And they also made a massage oil out of it. It's kind of the number one oil if you're trying to have an experience, okay? Just saying, you can thank me later. Okay, so the next we're going to move into is oils that swing both ways, okay? <laughs> oils that swing both ways. Hannah's like, I'm getting off this call right now, Holly. I'm out. <laughs> But you can't. We're here. We're in it. Okay. So these are oils that swing both ways. And what I mean by that is these oils, they do good for both. Okay. And they 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 literally nickname this oil the thigh master. So basically, what this does is this actually produces basically swells things up. It like rushes circulation to the spot. And let's just say it: if you have good circulation in the areas during intimacy you're going to have more experience, okay? This is basic science, right? This is actually how it works, boys and girls. So if you're drawing circulation to those areas, you are going to have an oh wow, okay? Both of you. So this is something I'm going to give you a good recipe 
But listen, if you're just wanting, like, if you're using this, it's apply, apply, apply. So blood cypress oil equals blood flow. This oil is also used for very non-naughty things. Like if you have problems with fluid retention, or if you have problems with circulation, it's used for that. Okay. You're probably never going to be able to look at it the same again. That's fine. Um, but it, it, if cypress equals blood flow blood flow equals magic in the bedroom. I'm just telling you. Okay. So apply, 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 apply it to your inner thighs, apply it on his inner thighs, mix it with other favorites like orange. Still telling you it's so good, but do not forget the cypress. Okay. It's so good. And it's for both. Another one that swings both ways is orange. And this is like happiness in a bottle. And let me tell you about orange for a second. The reason orange is also really good, not only for applying like with Cypress, but this actually helps you let go of your grown up problems. Okay. That is what orange does. And the reason this is important is because it helps you embrace sexuality and fun. And again, going back to like valor and what we talked about earlier, this can be hard for a woman, depending on what season of life she is in. And I feel so much for you young moms with toddlers touching you out, okay? I get it, your husband needs you though, you need him, but I get it because I was there. I was like, nobody else needs anything from this body, okay? So this helps you really let go of those grown-up problems, embrace sexuality and fun, which is a big issue for a lot of women. It lightens the mood. It lifts, it creates a feeling of bliss actually in the brain. So when I said, so when I'm talking about this, it basically what I'm saying is it combats being frigid. It combats being frigid. So if you have that problem, this helps you relax with low libido due to anxiety, okay? Which is a very, very real, real thing. So if you have low, be, low, low libido due to anxiety, which all of us can have that to some degree, this is fantastic. It's fantastic mixed with a floral libido stimulant like a Lang, -Lang as well. You can apply both to yourself. You can diffuse them. You can apply orange and Lang, -Lang to your inner thighs uh, to unwind, let go. It's also really good for a man because it raises his glutathione levels, which is basically the substance that is produced in the liver. It's one of the reasons he would have a solid popsicle. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Without it, you're going to have melting popsicles. Okay, so it's good for both, okay? And then the last one that really goes both ways, which that's weird because I don't see it, is Mr. Oil and I wanna, oh, you know what? I stuck that here. Okay, take a screenshot of this. So this has what I basically, orange and a Lang, Lang which are two I've talked about multiple times. This is the famous love potion number nine. Okay, if you get nothing else, just get this recipe, okay? Because it has orange, it has a Lang, Lang and sensation, and then it has black, a little black pepper in it, or little black pepper oil, which is very warm, like not too warming, but warming. And then what you do is you fill the rest of this with sensation massage oil, okay? This is for a 10 milliliter. The best thing to do, you can do it in a roller, but the best thing to do is actually do it in a dropper. That way you can just drop the oils on and use them, okay? Okay. You can use this before, on, during, all of the things on both of you, okay? Okay, here it is. The last one, I'm going to pass it off to Amanda for oils for libido for him. So Mr. is also an oil that swings both ways. And this is really important because this blend helps the prostate. It's called Mr. because it helps the prostate, okay? Which is a huge part of a man's libido and performance. It, it, it totally mess, like helps support his testosterone levels. Um, but women actually need certain levels of testosterone, not as much as men, but when we get, when our levels fall too low as well, that is also a problem. And women who tend, note this, women who tend to feel more balanced using Mr., that means you're most likely estrogen dominant. So if you're estrogen dominant, that's not good either. Mister is going to help balance you out the other way, and it that is not, it's not a typical female balancing oil, but it is it, it will balance you, and you will feel it if you're estrogen dominant. So that's so important to note that. And so with that, I've had a lot of fun. I'm going to hand this off to Amanda to cover men. I'm pretty sure that I got the best part of class tonight for sure. Okay. 
So there are three main things that we use for men's like longevity. And the first one is a supplement called Power Gize. This supplement literally changed my husband's life. It is phenomenal. If you want your man to stronger, longer, firmer, and also have more energy and stamina and like just more oomph in his daily life. Power Gize is the supplement. I actually love it myself as well, but it is specifically designed for men originally. And it is so good. Like grab that one for your men for sure. The second thing though is Idaho Blue Spruce. So I will never forget one of my first testimonies in the libido area was on this oil. This oil is literally nature's little blue pill. And I had a friend who had zero testosterone and he started doing the protocol from Dr. Purser, taking this IBS is what we call it, Idaho Blue Spruce, taking it internally and it shifted his testosterone levels within six months, he was completely back to normal. It's one of my favorite stories about this oil because <clears throat> men don't talk about it enough. We don't talk about it enough for men. As they age, their hormones also significantly change. So Idaho Blue Spruce will help your guy stay firmer and last longer. And that means that you get to enjoy yourself more, which is really important because if you're enjoying yourself more, then he's going to get it more often, right? So it's like a win-win for everyone in the bedroom. We highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. This one for men and Lang Lang laying for women. The combination of the two are just really strong for intimacy for sure. Um, but testosterone levels, don't forget that one. Really important. Did you post the Mrs. Mr. Libido Perky pill? Do you have that? <clears throat> oh, it's, it's just over on this slide. Snap this. Idaho Blue Spruce, Goldenrod, Nutmeg. This is absolutely the trio. Okay, go back. I didn't realize that you had posted it further. Sorry, Holly. All right. So Goldenrod. Going back to Goldenrod, she's like, stop, stop moving me around, Amanda. This was my aha oil in the bedroom. And everyone thinks that it's just for men. So this oil is the oil, okay? We talk all about vasodilation and actually making sure that everything is full of blood and, you know, everything is super lubed and feeling good. Goldenrod is not just for him. So I struggled for a while when I was working full time and had five kids, like just to want to, I just struggled with that. I know we've talked about that several times tonight and we started using this on me to get me in the mood and it was phenomenal. And our sex life went through the roof way too TMI, but you're welcome. So important. But not only that, this one is exactly what its name is. Golden rod. If you want him stronger, longer, Longer, firmer, this is the oil. You can apply it directly on. I'm going to give you a disclaimer. It does not smell that good. You will not care. Put it on. You will not care. I promise you by the end of it, neither of you will care. Try this one. We love it in lubes, but I love it just straight out of the bottle for sure. It actually sits on our nightstand. There you go. All right, nutmeg. Nutmeg is amazing. It'll get you there fast. One of my other first testimonies is my friend rubbed nutmeg on her lower abdomen. She didn't even go lower than her lower abdomen, you guys. And she was like, calls me and she's like, if my husband doesn't get home soon, some things are going to happen. And I was like, where's your husband at? Like, seriously, she was shocked at how fast it worked for her. And she had struggled with libido for a really long time. So I really want to make sure that you guys know if you're struggling just to get yourself in the mood, do the things to prep yourself to get there. So nutmeg for men. Nutmeg is, it's blood pumping. It's great for energy and stamina. It stimulates both physical and sexual energy. Um, it also helps your adrenal gland. So it really helps them have some longevity it is so, so stimulating and powerful. I love nutmeg. We use it in a capsule often, um, but you can add it to a lube. You can just rub it straight on. This recipe, I get more testimonies off of than probably anything libido related. So take that screenshot, take that screenshot, take it internally. That's for your man. That's not for you. It's for your man. Okay. Anything you guys want to add? Holly or Hannah? I love what Hannah said. She said, um, so adrenal glands, nutmeg is really good for adrenal glands. Mm -hmm. And that's actually what makes our, our adrenal glands are what make our sex hormones. And so that's why, like, if you're just using nutmeg on your adrenal glands every day, there you go. See what happens. Okay. 
Um, are we going through these? All right. I Shootron is kind of like the man's progestins plus. So it is great for a stronger ending. Um, you can literally just use this on the inner thighs and kind of work your way all the way up if you want to. It can be like a cologne. My husband wears it like cologne. It helps boost daily testosterone levels. Um, if you find, I have found that you're, the men will use too much of it. If they do, they might start feeling a little angry. So you might use a little bit less. Um, but really it's loaded with Idaho blue spruce and it is just, again, it fills them with the testosterone. It helps them stay longer, stronger. It absolutely just makes sure that all of their male parts are working. Um, he can apply four drops to like his forearm, just like we do progestins plus this is more of a daily. And then he can kind of see how he feels using it, but this is the man staple right here. Yeah, and this one too is really for stronger endings, especially. It's like the S on the chest. Now, I will say this: she mentioned something. Like she S said, "If it's a, this is a blend, and this has several that she talked about, like Idaho Blue Spruce, which is like you know the little blue pill in a bottle." But she said it may you might start noticing if they get a little aggressive or testy. We literally say testy because testosterone makes them testy. Okay. Tyson actually is very high in testosterone naturally. And so he doesn't use this. He's not allowed because if yep. he uses this, I'm not kidding. He's like, I am Hulk. Like, and he just Let me drag like, you off. Yeah. And he's just like doing crazy masculine dominant things. And I'm like, you are like, you actually need to come off of that. So, but if your husband, if that's not your husband, that's my husband kind of naturally. So if that's your husband, he probably doesn't need this. Idaho blue spruce is what I would reach for instead, the little blue pill, but cause that's going to help him. Like he can be strategic with that. Like when it's a good day, you know what I'm saying? But Shootron, like if you're a man actually needs more of that masculine testosterone boost, that this is absolutely the blend. It has all the things that she talked about in it. So, okay. Anything else? Has it been fun? Has it been good, you guys? I feel like we've hit all the things. Stacey Hartzler, if you, Stacey Hartzler is on here and man, she's got, she's got how many kids, yes, an Lori. amazing sex life, amazing marriage. If you want to pop on and say something, we would love to hear you. Um, but yeah, we are here. Any questions? Great class. Yay. I'm glad it was fun for you guys. Fun and interesting. <laughs> Great info. Yeah. Thoroughly embarrassed over here, but also more excited for Valentine's Day. That's so good. So listen, guys, if you're not actually a Young Living member yet, it is super easy to get started. You can actually get started with anything you want. Now you don't have to get a starter kit. Starter kits are great. They come with diffusers, but you can actually, if you fill your card up um, with at 100 PV of whatever you want that you heard of from tonight, you get free shipping, you get an account with Young Living for 12 months, 24% off all products. And we teach classes like this all the time. We have a class actually next week, which we only do once a month, um, where we're going to talk about just sharing on social media. We have a mentorship. We have classes, everything from raindrop to clean, natural cleaning of your home. So we love teaching. We love our community. And if you want to get started, you just have to ask the person that invited you. They actually have a fun referral link. They may actually even have a coupon for you. It just depends. But we are here for you. We, have, we are here to answer any questions you may have. We're so grateful you came to our class, you guys. And I think that's it. Right, girls? Anything else? No, I think there are some questions in the comments that we have missed. Okay, so I see one. This Is the sensation oil safe to use as a lubricant? Yes, it is internally safe. You can use it all over in all the things, okay? Yeah, that one's perfect. I noticed someone also asked that about love potion number nine, and you can as well. Love potion number nine goes directly on because it's actually, you put the oils in and the rest is the sensation lubricant. Um, oh, Stacy can't unmute. That stinks. Goldenrod be taken internally. Yes. Yep. It's Brenda actually asked me to um, look at April's comment that says blue pill good for estrogen dominance. No, Mister would probably be the best. You would want to use Mister. That's where I would start. The blue Can you pill put is the more blue? For the men. I'm going to put the blue uh, pill up one more time for you guys. I see that being requested, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave that up while we answer questions. 
Did you talk about Femigen? We did not talk about Femigen. Um, so Femigen, if you want to write that down, um, Hannah, do you want to say a, a little blurb about Femigen real quick? It's actually a supplement. Yeah, it's an awesome supplement. So Femigen is um, it's to help all of the female reproductive organs. It has herbs and essential oils that support the health of those organs. So it'll help with hormone balance. It'll help those organs be super healthy. I took it, um, as my like period was getting back to normal after I like weaned my kids, it just kind of felt like things were off. And like, you know, when you've had kids for like six years and then you're like, okay, things are rebalancing. They don't feel like they used to when I was 25. So I took Femigen for like three months straight. Um, I took it like, I think, I think it says on the bottle to take it and then you stop the week of your period and then you start again. Um, so I did that for three months straight and I, you guys, it was amazing how quickly and well it worked to do that. I've heard it talked about as like a menopause supplement to like help women in transition, which I think it also does, um, in that later phase of life. But for me, I just grabbed it. Cause I was like, these sound like great herbs and oils to be using to just help me get back in balance. And it really, really did work. It should not be taken if you're trying to conceive or potentially pregnant, because it does contain some herbs that are not safe for pregnancy. They tone the uterus and they can cause like um, like contraction and all of that. And they're, it's, they're basically, it's just not designed for pregnant women. It's for designed for either getting healthy before you do that or after that season. So just make sure if you're going to use it to help you get pregnant, I would use it for three months leading up, then stop, try to conceive for a while and then, um, resume after you've like weaned and all of that stuff. Um, but it's awesome. And I highly recommend it. And it's like really cheap. I feel like every woman should be taking it because of how cheap it is and how amazing it is for your, just all of your organs and hormones. Yeah, definitely scribble down Femigen and check it out. I'm if laughing. You feel like here. PMS symptoms. Yes. Like if you get super moody, it helps me not. If I'm consistent with it in the month, my period is like not moody. Don't even know it's coming. Like takes me by surprise. It's amazing. I'm laughing over here in these comments so much because I missed so there was like a party happening with Stacy <laughs> talking about putting joy oil on your nipples. And if you want a wild night. Ever. <laughs> mm, and then COVID somebody ever. said, Somebody said nutmeg for a quickie. And I was like, I, I'm putting that in the notes. I'm putting that in the notes. Like, that's just what we need to say right there. Yeah. So, so good. So I see, I don't see where April's question is. If a, April, if you want to re-ask, that would be great. Yeah, Femigen is great for libido. Absolutely. I think we got April's question. Oh, okay. I think. But Natalie said, um, can the blue pill be taken sublingually instead of a capsule? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you can, yeah. Okay. Also, Indogize is really great for libido personal experience. I've noticed a huge difference in that like desire of like, you know, like the touched out feeling and you're like, I have zero desire. And then you take Indogize for a couple of months and you're like, okay, I don't hate the idea anymore. You know, it's like you, you were working. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> So, so everybody order it. If you're in the little kid's phase, if you're in the little kid's phase, you can get yourself some Femigen and some Indogize. It'll change your life changed mine. So Haley said, how do we know who invited us? Haley, did you find us through our Facebook event? Maybe since it was public, if you found us through our Facebook event, um, we can find you through that. And then me, Hannah and Amanda will help you. If you maybe, I don't know, maybe you clicked on an Instagram link that somebody put out. Um, I think she's on my team. Yeah. I was, was going to say, say, I think Leanne invited her. She's on Leanne. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Just ask, oh, talk to your enroller. Yeah. There she goes. Okay. She found her. Okay. Good. So Courtney, but if you do need help, if you don't know who invited you and you guys need help, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll connect you with whoever you need to be connected. Yeah. With. We'll, we'll find your person. Yeah. Um, so Courtney said, I have no ovaries and pro plus didn't help. Where should I start? Um, I would start with, uh, Clary Sage, 100% Clary Sage and Courtney, uh, direct message me and I'll just kind of help with, uh, maybe what you're looking for more specifically for, um, the outcome. So, okay. Well, I think that's it. You guys, hopefully we were, we had a good night tonight and we'll be back here next Thursday night. If you're on our team with a mentorship call, talking about social sharing and all that good stuff. So have a great night. Bye friends. Bye, Bye. friends.